Pep Guardiola still wants more from Man City's strikers such as Sergio Aguero for all the focus on Manchester City's defending. Pep Guardiola continues to fret about his side's finishing. Does he have a point? Adam Bate takes a look. Pep Guardiola could hardly have been clearer in his assessment in May. We don't score enough goals, he said. The numbers do not lie, we have not been good enough in the boxes this season. Apart from one game, at White Hart Lane, I cannot remember a match where we did not create more chances than the other side. The others, no chance. Even the next champions, Chelsea, we create more chances here at the Etihad Stadium than even at Stamford Bridge, but in the boxes we are not good. We are the best in the league at doing that, we create more chances than anyone, but we are not always able to score the goals. In basketball you see Michael Jordan, last minute, puts it in the net. Aguero was benched against Bournemouth for Sergio Aguero's admirers, and there are many at Manchester City, the club's own Jordan figure is already present and correct. The greatest goal scorer and the scorer of the greatest goal. That Gabriel Jesus is rivaling City's hero for a place in the starting lineup only underlines the strength in attack. And yet Guardiola is not close to being satisfied. That much was apparent following the first home game of the current campaign. A 11 draw against Everton, secured after being a goal down with 10 men, was no disaster. And yet Guardiola still could not shake the feeling that wastefulness in front of goal had cost City yet again. We created the chances in the first half but we did not finish them, he said. Guardiola gives his reaction to Manchester City's late winner over Bournemouth. We created chances before their goal. 3 or 4. Our amount of opportunities on target to close to target was good, we were there all the time but we never gave up. All you can do is try to create the chances. Maybe one day it will change. I think last season we were the team who made the most chances. According to Opta, Guardiola is correct. City had 101 clear-cut chances last season. Next on that list was Tottenham with 86. In terms of expected goals regarded by analysts as a more accurate reflection of the quality of a team's chances than actual goals converted City were the strongest side in the Premier League last season. In short, they did a lot right. Neil Custis says Guardiola's complex tactics are affecting City's progress. The team's defending came under serious scrutiny but the suspicion remains that Guardiola is more concerned by the lack of efficiency in the opposition box. After all, City have let in only two goals in the first three Premier League games of this season. It is the failure to convert that cost them against Everton and threatened to do so at Bournemouth too. City have had more possession of the ball than any other team and more touches in the opposition box than anyone else as well. Guardiola will feel that the team's pattern of play is succeeding in getting the ball into to the right areas. The problem is that, once there, City have once again missed the most clear-cut chances of any team in the Premier League. Manchester City are continuing to dominate without taking the chances the strikers are not the only ones to blame but they can hardly be excused. On the opening weekend, Aguero and Jesus missed two fantastic opportunities apiece as City equaled their record for most clear chances missed in a Premier League game under Guardiola. Aguero did net with 20 minutes to play but found himself on the bench for the next away game. That is still a source of amusement for some but perhaps Guardiola could be forgiven for feeling he has not seen enough of the unerring finishing for which Aguero is famed. Indeed, unlike, say, Harry Kane or even Romelu Lukaku, Aguero has actually missed more clear-cut chances than he has scored over the past three seasons September 9, 2017, 11.30am live on it has been particularly noticeable in the key moments. There were costly miss home and away to Monaco City exited the Champions League, while even Jurgen Klopp was amazed by Aguero's wastefulness against Liverpool in March, ballooning a late shot over the bar. Had City won they would have been level with Tottenham with 10 to play. Liverpool returned to the Etihad Stadium on Saturday in good form and all looks set up for another classic encounter as the old Bundesliga coaches renew the rivalry. Once again Guardiola will back his team to create chances. Once again he will be stood on the touchline wondering whether those chances will be taken.